if you have a temperament that when others are fearful, you're going to get scared yourself, you know, you are not going to make a lot of money in securities over time in all probability. And that, uh, uh, you know, people really, if they didn't look at quotations, but of course the whole world is urging them to look at quotations, and more than that, do something based on small changes in quotations. But if you didn't, think how much more rational, we've talked about it before, but think how much more rational investing in a farm is than the way many people buy stocks. I mean, they, if you buy a farm, do you get a quote next week? Do you get a quote next month? If you buy an apartment house, do you get a quote next week or month? No, you look at the apartment house or the farm and you say, I expected it to produce so many bushels of soybeans and corn, and if it does that, it meets my expectations. But they buy a stock and they think if it goes up, it's wonderful, and if it goes down, it's bad. We think just the opposite. When it goes down, we love it because we'll buy more, and if it goes up, we, it kills us to buy more. Um, and I, you know, all you know, Ben Graham wrote about it. It's been explained. Uh, but if you can't get yourself in that mental attitude, you're going to be scared whenever everybody else is scared. And, and to expect somebody else to tell you when to buy and therefore get your courage back up or something, you know, I could get this fellow's courage up substantially by saying it's a wonderful time to buy. And then a week from now, he'd run into somebody else that tells him the world is coming to an end. Welcome to a new video where we delve into the world of investment and money-making strategies. Today we're uncovering the wisdom of the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett and his famous mantra, Be greedy when others are fearful. With whispers of a possible stock market crash on the horizon in 2023, we're exploring how this could present a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to strike gold. Remember, it's often in the midst of recessions that millionaires are made. Before we delve further, be sure to like, subscribe and comment to support the channel. Now, get ready to step into the world of smart investing. First off, let's talk about the man of the hour, Warren Buffett. He's not just some random name in the world of finance, he's an epitome of investment success. Born in Omaha, Nebraska in the midst of the Great Depression, Buffett's financial acumen blossomed early. From delivering newspapers to owning a pinball machine business, he always had an eye for opportunity. Buffett's career took a significant turn when he took control of Berkshire Hathaway, a textile manufacturing firm. Over the years he transformed it into a holding company, with a diverse portfolio that includes insurance, utilities, railroad and more. His knack for recognizing value where others see fear has earned him the nickname the Oracle of Omaha. A key highlight of his investment prowess is his success with companies like American Express and Geico. When these companies were going through fear-inducing events while others were selling, Buffett saw the inherent value in these businesses and made his move. His investments in these companies during their difficult times not only turned out to be profitable, but also cemented his reputation as a fearless and astute investor. Warren Buffett is not just an investor, he's an institution in himself. His philosophy and approach to investing have influenced generations of investors worldwide, from being the son of a congressman to becoming one of the wealthiest and most respected investors globally, Buffett's journey is a testament to his financial wisdom and investment strategy. Clearly Buffett knows a thing or two about turning fear into fortune. Now what's the secret sauce to Buffett's success? Well, it's a combination of courage, a keen eye for value, and a dash of contrarian thinking. Warren Buffett's investment philosophy revolves around the idea of being fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. This may seem counterintuitive, but let's break it down. When the market is saturated with greed, it's usually a sign that investors are overconfident, often leading to inflated prices and speculative bubbles. That's when Buffett suggests we should be fearful or cautious. On the other hand, when the market is drowning in fear, investors are usually selling off their stocks in a panic causing prices to drop. This is when Buffett advises us to be greedy or to seize the opportunity to buy undervalued stocks. But it's not just about timing the market or capitalizing on others' emotions. Buffett also emphasizes the importance of value investing. He's not one to invest in the latest hot trend. Instead, he looks for companies with strong fundamentals, businesses that are undervalued and overlooked by the market. And here's another gem from Buffett's treasure trove of wisdom. Invest in businesses that even a fool can run. Why? Because someday a fool will. In other words, he prefers businesses that are simple to understand and operate ones that can withstand the test of time and the occasional poor management. So while Buffett's strategy might seem simple, it requires a deep understanding of market psychology, a knack for identifying true value, and the patience to wait for the right opportunity. 
In essence, Buffett's strategy is all about spotting opportunities where others see only risks. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, the 2023 stock market crash. Imagine a roller coaster. It's thrilling, terrifying, and full of unexpected twists and turns. That's the stock market for you. And this year, it's taken a plunge. The financial world is in a frenzy, and the headlines are full of doom and gloom. But what if I told you this could be the opportunity of a lifetime? Picture this. The market is in freefall, prices are plummeting, investors are selling off their shares, trying to cut their losses. It's a sea of red. But amidst the chaos, the savvy investor, following Warren Buffett's philosophy, is rubbing his hands with glee. Why, you ask? Well, when everyone else is selling, prices drop, and when prices drop, stocks become cheap. It's like a Black Friday sale on Wall Street. Remember, Buffett's mantra is, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. So while everyone else is running scared, the buffet-style investor is out there, bargain hunting. He's not looking at the current market turmoil, he's looking at the value of businesses. He's investing in companies that are fundamentally strong, with good management and sound business models, which are now available at a discount because of the market crash. But it's not just about buying cheap, it's about buying smart. It's about understanding that the market is cyclical. What goes down, must come up. And when the market rebounds, those cheap stocks you bought during the crash will soar in value. It's during times like these that millionaires are made. It's during recessions, amidst the fear and uncertainty, that the greatest opportunities arise. So, if you've been sitting on the sidelines, watching the market, waiting for the right time to jump in, this could be it. So, while the world panics, the smart investor sees a golden opportunity. So, how do we turn this crash into cash? Well, the answer lies in the wisdom of the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett. In the midst of a crisis, where many see only chaos and loss, Buffett sees opportunity. It's in these times of market turmoil that he's made some of his most lucrative investments. Remember, he invested in American Express and Geico during times of fear-inducing events, and these investments paid off handsomely. Let's take a moment to draw parallels between those times and our current situation in 2023. The stock market is in a state of upheaval, prices are low, and there's a general sense of fear. But remember Buffett's philosophy, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful. This is the time to seize the opportunity, to look for value investments where others are too scared to tread. It's important to clarify that this isn't about taking advantage of others' misfortunes, but rather, about recognizing the potential for growth, where others only see decline. It's about having the foresight to invest in businesses that, in Buffett's words, even a fool can run. Now, why is this approach so significant? Because it's in these recessions amidst these crises that millionaires are made. It's the individuals who have the courage to be bold, to go against the grain, who come out on top. They are the ones who, like Buffett, turn crises into opportunities and fear into fortune. But it's not just about being bold, it's also about being prepared. It's about knowing when to enter the market and when to exit. It's about understanding the value of patience and long-term investing. It's about recognizing that success isn't always immediate, but rather, it's often the result of steady, calculated decisions made over time. So as we navigate the tumultuous waters of the 2023 market crash, let's remember Buffett's words of wisdom. Let's be greedy when others are fearful, let's seize the opportunity that this crisis presents, and let's turn this crash into cash. Remember fortune favors the bold, and there's no time like a crisis to prove your mettle. As we wrap up, let's recap what we've learned. We've delved deep into the philosophy of one of the most influential investors of our time, Warren Buffett, fondly known as the Oracle of Omaha. His investment strategy is simple yet profound. Be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy when others are fearful. This philosophy has served him well throughout his illustrious career and stands as a beacon of wisdom for investors around the globe. Buffett's strategy has always been about finding value in fear. When others are panicking he is calmly searching for that diamond in the rough, the undervalued company with a strong business model and rational management. His investments in American Express and Geico during times of fear-induced events are testament to his unerring eye for value amidst chaos. We also discussed the imminent stock market crash of 2023. As ominous as it sounds this event could potentially be an opportunity of a lifetime for savvy investors. History has shown us that recessions often create millionaires. 
While others may be running for the hills, this could be your chance to follow in Buffett's footsteps and find those diamonds in the rubble. But remember, it's not about mindless greed. It's about being rational, doing your homework, and seeking value. Buffett once said, invest in businesses that even a fool can run, because they are likely to withstand economic downturns and come out stronger on the other side. So, as we step into 2023, remember to be greedy when others are fearful because that's when real fortunes are made. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.